Guys, I'm going to need a few minutes alone upstairs. I got to do like a, a sad yank. Stupid street hockey. I wish we never went to that dump. Oh, this is all my fault. I'm the one who had to throw away the damn time machine. Wait a minute. That's it. I've just got to rebuild the time machine, and then I can go back and save Brian. Oh, happy birthday, Neil. Stewie, how are you? Uh, not well, Yusuf. I need your help. I have to track down a titanium capacitor for a high-wattage mainframe I'm going to construct. Titanium capacitors? Sorry, there's no way to get those anymore. What do you mean? You've gotten them for me before. I know, but the one guy who made those drew a doodle of Mohammed, so he's not around anymore. He wasn't even doing it on purpose, just absentmindedly while talking on the phone. But it was Mohammed, so... you know. Oh, that's awful! Okay, Yusuf, thanks anyway. Oh dear, Rupert. Without those capacitors, it'll be completely impossible to build a functioning time machine. I guess that means Brian has really gone for good. Thank you so much for coming, guys. Brian would be very thankful that you're here. No problem, Lois. You know, I usually don't come to funerals. Since I'm a cop, I always wind up getting hit by a black woman with a purse. You find the man who uh, did this. Ma'am, you what's bring your him relationship to, to Brian? You make sure this angel sure child the right didn't funeral? die for nothing. Ma'am, Brian's a dog. You became a cop. Okay. Where's Dad? We're gonna be starting soon. Oh, he's here. He just insisted on being the mysterious man who watches the funeral from across the street in the rain. Then he's gonna be the rich guy in the limo who drives by the funeral and shows no emotion. And now he's gonna be the old platoon mate who comes to pay his respects. I decided to be the mistress who no one knew about till now instead. Thank you everyone for coming today. None of you people came to my funeral. I know Peter wanted to say a few words. Oh boy, this is, um, this is probably the worst pain I've ever had to go through. And I've sprained my ankle twice. Um, the truth is, Brian wasn't just my dog. He was my best friend in the whole world. He was smart, he was loyal, and I guess what I'm trying to say is, he was like a brother to me, and I I'm gonna spend the rest of my life missing him. <laughs> We're all gonna miss him, Peter. We're all gonna miss him very much. <laughs> Damn it, Ortiz, stop swinging at junk. God, I almost served Brian again. I can't believe he's been gone a whole month. Can we at least get rid of the doggy door so Chris doesn't keep getting stuck in it? Every day I get a little further in. You know, I hate to say it, but I'm starting to think the only way to stop missing Brian is to get a new dog. Or do we all get Ghostbuster jumpsuits with our names on them? Who you gonna call? Da Griffins. I'm serious, Peter. I know it might take time to find the right dog, but... I really feel like it might be the best way for us to move on. Yeah, Dad. That would be nice. All right, well, I guess it couldn't hurt to look. Really? Another dog? Look, I miss Brian more than any of you, but at least now no one's forcing us to watch those awful PBS documentaries. And now PBS presents Albino Children Are Normal. So, with the exception of not being able to go out in the sun, you're completely normal? Yes, the moon is my sun. I like to kill beetles. Beetles are teachers. I sleep with a fork. <laughs> and then another <laughs> and then another <laughs>